Good morning, everyone. Hmm. This is Linda. I hope you're having a fine morning. It is a little overcast. You see the sun comes up every now and then over here, but um, it's nice. It's going to be a nice day. No matter what it is, it's going to be a nice day. But uh, I wanted to share with you all just some things that I did. Uh, I went down to see Miss George. Yeah, and just some other things that I did. Oh, I did get some seeds in the mail. So, yeah, I'm sharing all that. Yeah. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. Yeah. But as I said, I went to a couple stores today. Um, I went to the Double M and I did pick up two two flower plants. Now this flower, I had I had her in my garden. Um, before hurricane season last year. And of course, you all know that my two trees came down and kind of tore up some of the plants that I have. So one of the plants that they did take out is this baby right here, y'all. So if you don't know who she is, she is a mandevilla. Now I think I have a red or pink mandevilla and this one is a white mandevilla. Yeah, uh, my neighbor, Miss Brenda, gave me uh, a mandevilla plant um, um, last season. And, um, but anyway, it was destroyed. So now we got these two beautiful little mandevilla. We're going to do the darn thing. I want to share this too. Let's, let's get this bag. Wait a minute. So you all, you all see that bag? Yeah, it have bone and blood meal in one bag so i purchased this um also and oops sorry about that i went down to mr george mr george is feeling much better he also um wanted me to share with you all he thank you all so much for all of your well wishes and your prayers and your sweet words but i went to mr george and i asked him did he have any turmeric Mr. George got a turmeric, yo. <laughs> so I got 10 pieces of turmeric, even though I'm not going to use all of that to grow. I'm going to share it with um, some of my neighbors. So one day this week, I will be planting some more of my turmeric. So I got some nice rhizomes from Mr. George. They are really cool. And he grew it in his yard, so... I'm loving it. <laughs> yeah. So I'm by Southern Gateway. This is a shrimp plant. Yeah, check this out. It's a red shrimp plant. And you know what's the weird part about it? It smells like a shrimp. Mm-mm. I don't want that one. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, baby. How you How feeling you today? I'm feeling great. You feeling great? Yes, ma'am. Good, Mr. George. I'm feeling great, too. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and stop by, baby. Hey, now. These Creole girls here. Oh, yeah. Big old Creole tomatoes. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Name, yeah, that's my name. Yeah. Mr. George, tell me about these red bananas. The plantain. The family with the ball rolls. They come red, they come uh, yellow, uh -huh. they come green, and they come black. Yeah. You know how the skin is the sweetest thing, right? Right, right. You, you call it a, a barrow? A red barrow banana. A red barrow banana. That's what that is. And it's a banana. It's not a plantain. No, no. It's a, it's a banana. All right. Well, I got to taste this thing. I got to buy one some. You got to get ripe, huh? Yeah. So when it's ripe, what color is it? It's going to stay red. 
Okay. Is this gonna be soft? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. But she's gorgeous though. Good Lord, look at that. So Mr. George have all these pecans. But what he did was he just cracked them in the shell. They're not totally peeled, but they are cracked. Easy peel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chanel. All right, Mr. George, give us a word for the day in the gardening community. The word of the day? Yeah. Eat healthy. Yeah. Buy healthy. Yeah. Live healthy. Okay. Every day. Every day. Be careful what you put in your jaws because that's the outcome of your life. Yeah. Don't get fooled by new people. There are people telling you things that ain't legit. Mm -hmm. And stop eating fast food. It ain't no good for none of us. Yeah. The time they take to make that, it usually takes that time for you to look. You can cook something good at your house and, and save a whole lot of time if you eat good enough. Yeah. That's the word of the day. Eat healthy. Eat healthy. Okay, now, Mr. George, I'm going to ask you a question. So, this month is April. Yes, ma'am. As a gardener, what should I be doing in my garden? What you should be Bro. you should be cutting the grass. Yeah. Getting your grass cut back off your property. Yeah. Either composting or either organically growing you some fresh dirt. Yeah. This time of the year is well to put tomatoes in the ground. Yeah. Cucumbers, eggplants. Try some of the new eggplants they got now. They come in white, they come yellow, they come green. And they come a light, light pink. There are five colors on them. Those go excellent right now in the weather we're having right now. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of vegetables right now, like mm -hmm. kale, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like collard greens, they're growing this kind of weather. They like the weather when it's hot like this. You know, I always say the thick leaves, yes. uh, 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 leafy vegetables, yes. they, they love, love this weather. Yes. That's correct. All right, there was another question I wanted to ask. I got to think. I got to know. I got to think now. All these fruits around me making me hungry. It's all right. So, Mr. George, I cooked some melatons the other day, some stuffed melatons. Okay. They were so good. My, my grandson and I enjoyed them. Yes, ma'am. All right, guys, so those who don't know, that is Miss Chanel. Good hey, morning. Chanel. Good morning. <laughs> it's Mr. George's wife, and she's going to tell us about a company of uh, the uh, products that they sell here. So tell me about them. Okay, we've Shoot. got the sea moss, the golden sea moss yeah. from St. Lucia. St. Lucia, yeah. Dive down to the reefs and collect the sea moss. Yeah. They dry it out and mm -hmm. ship it to us in the United States. Uh -huh. There's a young man in New Orleans, he's known for his Yemalade. He makes an herbal lemonade, which we sell here. Oh, great. He makes the sea moss. Uh -huh. Mr. Yimla also does the elderberry syrup. This elderberry syrup is good for the immune system. It helps to build the immune system. I tell anybody, look this up. It's very, very, very healthy for you. Mm -hmm. Also, we have another gentleman in New Orleans. He has show fresh produce. Yeah. And his name is Thaddeus. And where that, is his where is his? He does pop-ups. Okay. Oh great, great. He does pop-ups around the city. All right. Um right now he's on the Greenway. Okay. And uh, he makes this, it's called Fire Cider. Fire, Fire Cider is apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. Uh -huh. And it has turmeric, it has ginger, and it has peppers. Oh, wow. Yes. And this is good for digestion. It's good to build the immune system. It sounds system. like it'd be good it, for gut health. Gut health, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And it helps ward off a lot of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> we need a lot of warden off. Yes, ma'am, around, around, around today. Around these days we're living in, we need a lot of warden off. Yeah. The, the elderberry syrup comes in, uh, we have it, we carry it in three different varieties. There's the golden, uh, there's the royal, and there's the green. It has nothing added to it, that's the, the natural color. Look at this gorgeous baby bloom this morning. Hey, it's a California poppy. It's a California puppy, and she is from the Dollar Tree. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. So, these are her foliage right there. You see that? 
that's her pull wig. So that you can see she is. These are my purple beans. Oh, that is so gorgeous this morning. And of course, we got a lot of beans going on. Oh yeah, that thing ready. She's singing in there. She's singing. <laughs> All right, let me finish. Let me finish this stuff. All right, guys. It's um, it's late in the evening. I had to go in and take a nap, y'all. <laughs> uh, it was um, hot. Yeah, I did a lot of running too. So I did a. Uh, I went and got a nap. Um, the mailman came and brought me some mail, y'all. So check this out. I take some seeds, yeah. So I'm gonna drop some of these, a few of them, in my hundred gallon grow bag, and that's this, yeah. So I'm gonna drop some of those seeds, and of course I talked about this on the live, and I told everyone I was waiting for them, and. They are here, y'all. The fish pepper. Yeah. I. It's crazy because I did harvest a lot of my uh, fish pepper seeds from last season. But I gave so many of you all. I gave it away. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, we're going to grow some. And this time, I'm going to put some aside for me. And then I'm going to share it with you all. <laughs> all right. I wanted this, uh, and that is uh, this moonflower. Yeah, mm. it's a morning glory, but it's a moonflower. Vegetables, spaghetti. I guess it's spaghetti squash. Yep, it's a it's a spaghetti squash. My son want me to grow this. I'm gonna drop a couple of seeds. Yep. That's what he wants. Oh, that wasn't the free seed. I ordered spaghetti squash. I did. Okay, cool. Here is the free seed. <laughs> I had some for a long time until until we had that uh, that freeze. Now this is just. I got more of these peppers, and that is the Lesia, I think that's how you pronounce it. I want this pepper so badly, you know, I don't want anything to stop me from achieving this pepper. So, I'm going to plant more. I have some growing, but I'm going to plant three more seeds, that's all, uh, but this pepper now you know how if you ever looked at a video and uh, you see a person eating something and it looks just amazing yeah well there was this video of a man he was growing he growed this pepper for the very first time and he tried this pepper and oh my god it looked so delicious it sound delicious I want this pepper, y'all. <laughs> I want this pepper, so we're gonna drop more seeds of that pepper. So I also got this, and I'm gonna grow this for my Jody. <laughs> this is for my Jody, and I'm gonna um, put some soil in another one of my brown um, grow bags from Sarah. Hey, Sarah, and we're going to drop some of these seeds, and that is my seeds, but also today, uh, I did stop by, I picked up a pack of stevia for the unicorn lady, because I promised her I would send her a pack, and that I've done, yeah, but anyway, guys. That is what I've done. Now, I shared with you earlier this um, um, 
California poppy from the Dollar Tree that is she bloomed this morning. I just want to share with you how she looked this evening, okay? Let me share that with you. She looks so beautiful, and in the morning, she's going to spread open again. That is so cool that I find California poppies does that. They close up in the evening, and in the morning, they open right back up. I love it. And this is a Dollar Tree California poppy. Alright guys, so this, this is some seeds that I saved from last season that I'm planting here today. And this is, if I can get them out, it's windy, I don't want the wind to blow them away. Uh, this is Egyptian spinach, see that? This is a wonderful thing about this. now. I did drop some of these seeds last season and um, when I dropped them last season one of my trees came down and it took my plant out but the person that sent me these beautiful seeds this is her name right here thank you sweetheart nope I will never forget this gift so I do have um, more seeds yeah, I did get her seeds off of her. <laughs> she went down, but <laughs> I got her seeds. <laughs> and uh, so now I'm going to replant those seeds. But I thank you so much, sweetheart. Always, always think of you when I, I see this. Thank you. So I'm just going to drop them strategically. No specific place for, these, uh, for where these plants are going to go. Uh, I'm just going to drop them. Yeah. And uh, it's so wonderful. Whoa, I don't want them to fly away. Um, I love this grow bag because, listen, y'all, I can just stack it on. <laughs> I can stack it in. And that's what I'm doing here. Yeah. Now, I did drop some of these in um, a smaller container in a cup. I'll share that with you in a second. But I'm going to drop just a few seeds over here in Big Baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put it over here. And just go. No, yeah, you know, it's just no particular place where it's going to go. I'm just going to drop some of this mm -hmm. and I'm gonna drop some of this so as you can see here I planted my mandevilla one of them over here last night it was at night next thing you know it was dark out here but I'm gonna drop just a few of these seeds around this pole and a couple around the last pole of this trellis. Mm -hmm. And this is where the California poppy is, and this is where I planted the other uh, Mandevilla. And I'm just dropping these seeds right up in here with them. Yeah, they all gonna be like family. Gonna be like family in here. <laughs> I have to harvest some of these beans too because as you can see I've been eating them. <laughs> yeah, I've been eating them. Alright. There we go. That's planted. Good morning. 
This is Jada's circle of flowers that she planted. And as you can see, it's really getting big. Uh, they have zenas and poppies and uh, sweet pea flowers. All kinds of goodies in here. A lot of marigolds and morning glories. Yeah, it's going to be something to see. Every day she's harvesting, so she said she was coming over today just to harvest and clean up some of these leaves. That's what I told her she needed to do. So <laughs> that's what she's going to do today after school. But the potatoes. So here is the big uh, pot of potatoes. They're looking good. And all of the smaller ones, this is one of them. That's another one back there. They all do really good. Very good. This is my bay leaf tree, and she is just putting on new branches just every day. New, new branches. She's doing so good. <laughs> I can keep Jody from plucking all her leaves off, but that's the purpose. That's the purpose, is to use it. And so, as long as she uses it, I'm with that. I'm with it. I'm with it. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, they really get big in here and looking beautiful. My seed potatoes. Potatoes I started from seed. Really good. Doing excellent. I just gotta see if we have potatoes. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to talk too loud to and disturb Gloria. She's right above me. But this is all my little starts here and where I drop more seeds. And there's a lot of them. things coming up right over there. Oh yeah, oh boy, they really coming up. That's good. So I did these last night, all of these, but yeah, they doing good. Gloria is right there. <laughs> mm. ah. <laughs> yeah, man. Yes. Joke. This is another one right there. It's an artichoke and rhubarb. Now, in the rhubarb, I have let's see, this one, two, three rhubarb. Oh, wow, this is pretty. I didn't see that. Mm. Um, there is one. To three root bars in here, but I, I didn't see this leaf, which is absolutely gorgeous. That's the one that was folded in the middle. Root bar. Now, of course, these plants cannot, you know, live the remainder of their lives here. Both, you know. So, what I'm thinking is. Rhubarb, one rhubarb is probably going to have this as their permanent home, and the other ones, I'm gonna take them out and put them somewhere. But uh, go away. But I'm gonna put them in the ground wherever I put them. Yeah, but one of the rhubarbs, this will be their forever home. We'll see how it goes. And this is just a big wooden barrel. Yeah, it's a big wooden barrel. I don't know how big it is. It's big. It's big. <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. But anyway, guys, you all have a wonderful evening. We will talk tomorrow. Later, y'all. Mm -hmm.